Hey guys, today I got a quick video on how to separate the rod from the piston. Uh, and the only time you really need to do this is if you're engine through a rod and you got to replace it, you'll usually just have a little piece left up here, or you're replacing the piston or what have you. Uh, a lot of people like to separate the piston here so you can oil the uh, wrist pin better before you put it back in. And this uh, piece of metal that goes through the piston here, it just uh, to pivot to one is called the wrist pin. And this is a rod and piston out of a five horse Brig and Stratton model 13. You can see the 13 on there is what this means. Uh, this one's scored real bad. You see, I think the motor was run without oil or something. You can see the piston's real scored. And the main reason I'm doing this video is I uh, had a couple comments from some other videos asking about how to do this because I never did really show it in another video. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you how to do this. And the way I do it, I just use a pair of needle nose. I'm not sure if they have an actual tool on this, uh, but this is the way I've always done it. If you look, if you look, there's a clip in there. It'd be easier to see once I get it out. You just grab a hold of it like this. Just sometimes it takes a little while. Just kind of twist it out of there like that. This is what the clip looks like here, as you can see. Nothing really to it, but uh, that's the hardest part of doing this. And you only have to take it out on one side, and you can leave the other one in. You can use sometimes you can just take a screwdriver or chisel or something, push on it like this. And sometimes you can push it through, but a lot of times they're either stuck or just really tight. And I'll show you what to do in that case. This one's being real stubborn. Most of the time it'll slide right out. But this one, I'm using a uh, punch on it here. And get down in there better with it. And after you get it out most of the way, your piston will come off here. You can see how it goes in there now. It'll slide all the way in there. Let me pound it back in there just so you can see uh, how, how it's supposed to go. This is what it looks like. Gives you a better idea of how the, how the piston will, uh, how the rod will pivot on there. See, it, most of the time it'll slide right out. This one's been in there for a while. Sometimes you can spray this with penetrating oil first and that usually seems to help. And if you need to, you can pull the wrist pin on out if you're going to be replacing it or if you're going to use it on another piston or something. I'm just leaving it like this because I'm just showing you how everything goes. You can also inspect this for score marks or anything. Most of the time, you never have to worry about any score marks or anything on here. And just for reference, if you look on this connecting rod, you'll see a little bump on this side. The other side don't have it. It goes to the side marked with the numbers. This one that says 8-2 because on this side it says X. So that's how the rod will go in there like this. Now to put it, put the rod back in here, you just do the same thing, but backward. You just pound the pin back in, the wrist pin. And you also want to soak this in uh, STP or motor oil or something like that, just so it has some oil in it. And a regular hammer like this probably ain't the best, but if you have a small brass hammer, you'll want to use that. And you don't have to hit it very hard at all. Tap it in. And once it gets so far, you can use a punch to uh, pound it the rest of the way. Just got to be gentle with it. And that's all there is to it. And you want to make sure you're... This is normal to have this much play in the rod because your, uh, your end play is set by the crankshaft in your engine. Okay, now to put the clip back in to hold it, you don't want to forget that. You want to get it started like this, and this can be tricky sometimes. You also might want to watch your eyes because it's possible for one to sling out. You just kind of do that. What I like to do, I like to go in there and turn it a little bit with the pliers and pull on it just to make sure it's in there all the way. You can see it's in there all the way. Same as this side over here. 
And like I said, most of the time they'll slide right out. You don't have that much problem with it. But uh, just got to be patient with it. Well, guys, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.